It's time now for the Peter Channel Body News on this third of all, March 31st, 2016. And good morning to you all on this lovely Thursday morning, March 31st, 2016, final day of March 2016. Here are your news and our top story at 8.50 in the morning time on this third of all, it is Kolkata, India, where a fire as the construction of the bus sled city of Kolkata collapsed on Thursday. On the vehicles, the street vendors below killed at least 14 people with more than 100 people feared trapped. Donald J. Trump a campaign event in Appleton, Wisconsin, as every day it seems like Donald Trump must soon run out of ways to counteract the perceptions in his campaign. At least seven people were injured in homes and businesses were damaged in northeastern Oklahoma after a severe storm spawned a tornado touchdowns. Egypt air hijacked. In Egypt and North Africa, in the image of the news weekends, Egypt aired scooters near and the posted for a picture when the plane died. Check on order to help afford these aid to crash the situation. Johannesburg, South Africa's constitutional court ordered President Jacob Zuma on Thursday to pay back some of the $60 million of state money spent on preparing his department over a state rebuke that did that since scandal played later financially. The entire Washington, D.C. subway system might need to close for at least a month to make much of needed repairs, a metro's chairman said on Wednesday. The Hague UN. UN judge just acquitted Serbian nationalist fire friend Belsa Sessions on war crimes and crimes against humanity on Thursday. A shock verdict that delivered a boost to its anti EU Serbian radical party ahead of April elections. Moscow. Russian combat engineers arrived on Thursday in Syria on a mission to clear minds of the ancient town of Fabar, the military said. Ronnie Corbett, the committee rose in favor in 1970s alongside long term collaborator Bernie Barker and became one of the UK's best loved first senators in debt at the age of 85. World leaders at the Nuclear Security Day Summit in the Hague on 2014 as President Obama will host the summit meeting in Washington today. In Brussels, Salah Abdel Saab, the only militant believed to have survived, the Paris attacks will cooperate with the French authorities and approve of a swift extradition. In Seattle, Hillary Clinton's high level bundlers and donors are increasingly urging the campaign to direct more attention to Donald Trump and begin the process of tearing the mark off the billionaire they expect will be the Republican nominee. A 13 year old boy drove a sold an SUV from Foxman to Roxbury before crashing into a car and attempted to escape and put up according to authorities. Donald Trump was merciless Wednesday in the patrol of our poorly Wisconsin firm under his Republican governor, Scott Walker. The California Supreme Court ruled on Wednesday that it would not get involved in the DePage's family fight for a gay custody. A six year old part of the American girl Lexi was the foster girl, child of the Reasley. Washington. Several metros rail system lines in Washington, D.C. can be shut down for months so officials can make needed repairs following recent safety inspections. Anchorage, Alaska. Three first grade girls were suspended from Alaska Charter School for wanting to kill their classmate, the school's principal said. Minneapolis. Sanders and protesters stripped the Minneapolis streets after a 40 days said two police officers would not be charged with the November shooting of Jamar Clark. In local news. Adam Arthur, Timmy Sullivan, the founder of an education media company, has returned to his roots and become the just the second president in Bishop Field. High school history. Sullivan, boy, six little place, Chris Servant was retired in July after 44 years as a school teacher, principal, and the first president of Feehan. Sullivan is a Foxborough native and a Nottingham resident. He graduated from Feehan in 1987 and went to the University of Northern Dame. The last president's appointment was made at the school library Wednesday in front of dozens of teachers and alumni and students. Servant has said Feehan was looking for someone who had a knowledge and understanding the school and its history. Fall River. An Alabama man has pleaded guilty to charge an interview to run death of a popular Seacock town official last year. 
General Electric Company is probably asked to be released from supervision by the Federal Reserve on Thursday, saying that it essentially struck its worth best of financial service arms, so it would no longer pose a systematic threat to the banking system. Senator Poirier has cut the outlook for China's credit rating to negative from stable, saying that the nation's economic rebalance is likely to proceed more slowly than the ratings were ever expected. London, world stocks fell for the first time in four days on Thursday, but the final day, world crossing first quarter has happened to the dollar and the pound, but has put the best in decades for golden bonds. March inflation down negative 0.1% versus negative 0.2% in February. Core inflation picks up 0.9% for 0.8% inflation Senator to ECB target for years to come. Denver Chipotle Mexican Grill will be considered entering Hamburg business after filing a trademark application for the name Better Burger. Houston prospects for drilling services of oil and gas while the proof of winning out recovery of crude oil prices ahead of U.S. break company Hercules Offshore said. Savage Norway, Norwegian energy companies that only said there's a construction of parts of the drilling infrastructure industry to attempt to judge joy and spread about the rhetoric. Washington, a natural gas army aid to transfer as a natural gas in Europe would not have defense without strong U.S. support. As Vice President said, London Transparency advocates that World Dutch Shell and its partners in Nigeria may have exposed shareholders to high level of risk in a corruption system. Also, the 11 year old lemonade company has struck a deal with Whole Foods to be carried in stores across four states. Take a look at the stocks now with 83.55 points to 17,760 SP 5 for 26.95 and that's that 4,869 point 29. Researchers say the new protection is that it's set in store by the energy community to consider the worst case scenario in the development of production plans. Any international team researchers in this report possibly that Homo sapiens may have played a factor in the device of a group of ancient hominids and known as Homo plensis. Biologists discovered temples from Indian deaths and products in the Western Ghats, the first stock of the temples of the Fog family, and like every temples, the Mount Kulas and Ray Burrow found descendants even saw some of the material. Scientists have obtained the most detailed fingerprint of Super Earth exoplanet, which has two sides. One is completely solid, while the other contains both lava. Life behind the bad treatment failed to improve the quality of life, and among patients with symptoms of uh, primitive persistent Lyme disease and randomized Dutch study found. The Food and Drug Administration on Wednesday updated labels so they called abortion pill to reflect the way that the most doctors have been using it anyway. A new study has found one of the simple food may can be key to lose weight and may survive you. Speech, chickpeas, peas, and blood cells according to the study from Mid St. Michael's Hospital in Toronto. Trailblazer and liver kidney transplants from HIV positive donor to HIV positive recipients were announced Wednesday by surgeons at Johns Hopkins University. Peter Challenge is now 823. Time for spot support tonight. The Boston Bru Boston Celtics will be at in Portland, taking on the Boston Trailblazers at game time 10 o'clock, which is 7 o'clock their time. The United States national team members make a report in Carl Lloyd and Opus Soul last year as five top female players accused U.S. soccer wage discrimination. Key this case for the victor as Magica was well on the way to the victory Wednesday when she drew a court violation and chested herself too coffee. She later ended the job with her dies with two figures in. Watch the ball as Isaac and Beats got to 6 4 6 2 and might be open quarterfinals. Tampa Ford has been 40 days since Yankee pitches and catches before his free trade and really never has gone wrong. The Sabre King took their first pretty straight win of the season in eight years of Wednesday, but it continued to win by the straight season of the team. Final sex victory were clad in the conflict and tarnished by technical fouls. Peter Chalduz, I was out. Eight twenty four on this Thursday morning, and it's time out for a Trevor report. Mm -hmm. Baby, let's study off down in Rhode Island, Little Rhode Island, where ninety five and a South Bend side. It is slow from one fourteen in Pawtucket. All yet to data above it. One forty six and a South Bend side. It's so from Route fifteen and Dot Partridge. All yet to data above it. 
95 of the sap plants had also sold all the way down for Route 1 in Providence. Six hectare acres sold from Route 6 all the way to downtown Providence. Route 6 sold from 128 all the way to Route 6 hectare. 95 of the north bad side sold from the airport connector all the way at the downtown Providence. 195 of the west bad side and it sold from Seacock all the way to downtown Providence. 295 of the south bad side sold from Route 6 all the way in Johnson. 295 of the north bad side also after Route 37 in Creston. Route 13 in the east bad side also the Newport Bridge, Bottle Bridge of the south bad side and it sold from Newport Bridge in the north bad side is looking good as soon as the Jamestown and Newport Bridges. 24 of the north bad side and it sold from 140 all the way to Route 44 in the top random stretch. Out of the Cape, Route 6 is from Sandwood on all leads. Trades look good from Board 5 except for Board Bridge of the South by Side. A little slow. Sandwood Bridge is looking good. 95 to the North South by Side. It is off 152 in North Edinburgh all the way up to 295 in Edinburgh. 95 to the North by Side. So 152 in North Edinburgh all the way up to Route 95 in Edinburgh. And then hip breaks again before Route 120 in Canton. 24 to the North by Side. It is off from Route 27 in Brockton all the way at the Route 120 in Canton. 128 on the north bad side is so from the Bray Tree Split all the way at the Route 24 in Randolph. Route 3 on the north bad side it so to an accident before. Three between him and the switch all the way down through before the Union Street in Brain Tree. 128 on the north bad side it so for Route 1 in Norwood all the way up to Route 20 in Waltham. 495 on the north bad side so from Milford all the way at the Route 9 in Westboro. Mass Park in the East Bound Side, it did sold from Natick all the way out to the Austin Braddock Tolls and all the way to the Pooh Tunnel. Mass Park in the West Bound Side, it sold from Glory Airport all the way out to South Boston. South Eastern Express on the North Bound Side, it did sold from 128 in Braintree all the way out to Dorchester. South Eastern Express on the South Bound Side, sold to Dorchester Stretch. 93 in the South Bound Side, is sold from Medford all the way out to the Zaken Bridge in Boston. 93 in the South Bound Side, of Boston, it sold from Zaken Bridge all the way out to the Mass Park. Seven of Tuttle and Soul, Cal and is looking good. Route 1 is South Bound Side, so from Route 16 all the way out to Route 93 in the Charleston Boston stretch. 128 is South Bound Side, and it's sold from Lidfield all the way at the Wooden and Hit Breaks again from Route 3 in Burlington all the way at the Waltham. Route 2 to the West Bound Side, and it's slow due to an accident before Route 128 in Lexington, and Route 2 it's slow go from 4225 Lexington to Route 128 in Lexington, Route 2 in the East Bound Side, so from Route 60 in Belmont all the way out to French Park Parkway, Cambridge. Route 3 in the South Bound Side, and then sold from Tigsville all the way out to Route 40 in Chelsea, and then Dipperick's again after Route 45 and all, all the way out to Billwick, and then Dipperick's again before Route 128 in Burlington. 93 in the North Bound Side, and then sold from Medford all the way out to Route 120 in Redden. 93 in the South Bound Side, sold from 125, and now I'm all the way out to the Zinc, Route 93. 485 on the South Bound Side, and then sold from 125 in April all the way out to Route 97 in April, doing a couple of accidents on 485 in the South Bound Side after Route 97 in April. And then 485 in the South Bound Side, and sold from Route 20 Lawrence all the way up to Route 93 in Lawrence and then slow go after Route 93. 485 on the north bound side and south bound side slow so after Route 3 at all. 485 on the north bound side and also after 119 in Littleton. 485 on the south bound side and slow the Berlin stretch. 290 east bound side and then so before Route 9 in Worcester. 146 on the north bound side and also after 290 in Worcester. I-91 on the north bound side, so from Route 57 to Dagua all the way up to 291 in Springfield. I-91 on the south bound side, so from Southwoods all the way up to downtown Hartford. I-84 to the east bound side, so from Farmington all the way up to downtown Hartford. 91 on the north bound side, so from Middletown all the way up to Rock Hill due to the accident on 91 north bound after Route 9 in New Britain. 691 on the east bound side, the accident after I-84 to Waterbury, so expect some delays. I-84 to the west bound side, so from Waterbury all the way up to Route 8 in Waterbury. I-84 to the west bound side, so before Route 7 in Denbury. Mary Park Road and West Bound Side so far after Route 25, all the way at the New Caden, 95 in the South Bound Side so from Route 8 Bridgeport, all the way at the Sanford. 91 and 95 in the North Bound Side and then so from West Haven, all the way at the downtown New Haven. Highways and Broadways in New York City are slow go. 891 on the West Bound Side so from the New York State Freeway, all the way at the Schenectady. But oh why, New York State Freeway is looking good from New York, all the way at the Pennsylvania Board, except for a little slow spot on the New York State Freeway in the Buffalo area. It is sold from 190 in Buffalo all the way up to 290 in the standard stretch, so expect some delays by the Buffalo Cheat to go on stretch at the east side of the throughway. And then the throughway, it is looking good. And the Pennsylvania Trade Park, it is looking good from Philadelphia to Pittsburgh. Except for a little slow spot in the Pennsylvania Trade Park, we'll go off the horseshoe and down to the Plymouth Meeting. And 95 is looking good from Claymont all the way down to 
downtown Philadelphia. In New Jersey State, you're back a little slow down on the southbound side just before the Delaware Bridge in Delaware in southwestern New Jersey. In the Garden State Parkway, it's slower in Atlantic City on both ends. Okay, look at MBTA alert, subway system, and the commuter rail, and the ferries, they are looking good. Peter Channel News Time is now 8.30 on this Thursday morning, and it is time now for a weather report. And we are under a wind advisory effect from 10 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time until 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. This evening, including eastern and southeastern Massachusetts, including the North Islands, as well as Rhode Island. It's southwest winds about 15 25 miles gusts up to 50 miles of isolated gusts to 60 miles an hour possible. Time and development this morning, the persistence of the EV that are struggling with around midday to the afternoon impacts included potential for dead limbs and power outages. Driving charges for high profile vehicles and wind advisory issues when sustained with the forecast to be 31 to 39 miles an hour. Gusts will be ranged between 46 to 57 miles an hour. Winds this drive, Kimberly, that are some small tree limbs and power rents will possibly cause an SF outage. The driving can be difficult to switch to high profile vehicles. Day one today, tonight, wind advisory day two percent for Friday for Wednesday, drives away from expected time. And Massachusetts fire weather officials have advised that an elevated fire spread potential today with warmer temperatures and strong southwest winds across the state. But this evening, that sustained 15 25 mile per wind gusts upwards of 30 miles per across the interior portion of the state. 40 50 miles across eastern and southeastern areas will elevate fire weather potential. But relative humidity varies, range around 46%, roughly north to south across the state, will keep moderate ignition potential, keep fire weather thresholds below we'll watch your warning criteria. Alright, seven day forecast goes like this. But today, most of the are about 68 degrees, breeze with our southwest around 14 to 23 miles per size, 47 miles out. For tonight, chance of showers. May after 11 p.m., pitch by 1 a.m., a watch. Most gusts go to about 55 degrees, southwest around 16 to 18 miles per size, 33 miles out. Just patience, 50 percent. New fist permits less than 10 inches possible. Friday, shot light will possibly get thunderstorm. Pitch by before 10 a.m., a watch. Class gusts have about 54 degrees to 64 degrees, southwest around 16 to 18 miles out. Gusts size, 30 miles out. Just patience, 6 percent. New rain from out through the check water ditch and come out as possible thunderstorms. Friday night, chance of showers and thunderstorms. Most gusts go to about 45 degrees. South was about 5 to 10 miles. Gusts in the and midnight. Chance of patience for 30%. New percent less than 7 inches. Chance of showers as possible thunderstorms. Saturday, chance of showers. Most gusts go about 55 degrees. Come with coming south was about 5 to 9 miles in the afternoon. Winds could cut size 23 miles. Chance of patience for 40%. Saturday night, a chance of showers and thunderstorms. Out some possible better midnight. Most gusts go to about 35 degrees. Chance of patience 50%. Sunday, chance of showers before noon. Parts of sky about 42 degrees. And Breathing chest patient 40 percent. Saturday night, most coasts go about 24 degrees, but they had chest storm before 11 a.m. Then a chest rain storm between 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. Then a chest rain after 2 p.m. Mostly that got about 41 degrees. Chest patient 30 percent. Monday night, chest rain before 11 p.m. Then rain is so likely most coasts go about 28 degrees. Chest patient 6 percent. Tuesday, chest of snow. Most coasts go about 37 degrees. Chest patient 50 percent. So that all coasts go about 22 degrees. For Wednesday, so that's got about 41 degrees. Not temperature sending at fair skies at 54, humidity 67%. And that is going to be it for the Peter Channel Morning News on this. Thursday morning, March 31st, 2016. I'm Peter Channel. Have a good morning, a good positive tune, and a good day.